Okay, um, today I'm going to discuss the slides 113 to 132. Uh, it is on pure substances. Uh, the only thing today will just be the slides. Uh, then your homework, uh, classwork on ions and ionic bonds is due today. And then tomorrow we will have some questions over the pure substances. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, compounds. Compounds are if two or more atoms combine, they form a special type of particle called a compound. Water is a molecular compound, which consists of H2O. Salt is an ionic compound because it's composed of different ions. The general term particles can describe atoms, ions, molecules, or ionic solids. Compounds are pure substances made of molecules or ionic solids. Uh, water and salt. This is a, a molecular, this is ionic, this is made of hydrogen and oxygen, this one's made of sodium and chlorine. Mixtures versus compounds. Mixtures are combinations of particles. A mixture, a constant, uh, mixtures constituent, if I can read, particles are not bound together by chemical bonds. And a pr proportion of each type of particle in the mixture is not fixed. The mixture can be changed by adding more or less of each different particle. Mixtures. If two substances are mixed together but don't combine to form a substance with new properties, it is a mixture. So an example, um, like when you were a kid, and uh, maybe it was the summertime, and your mom took out like the container of the uh, country-made lemonade mix, and she put some of that in, mixed it with water, and made lemonade. So it's not what you started with and what you ended with are not two completely different things. You basically just added water to sugar and flavor it. Uh, they can be separated by a physical process. So it is it is easier to separate the two. Uh, you can carefully move the crystals apart one by one. A mixture of sand and water is another example. They can be separated by pouring off water or passing it through a filter. Pure substances and particles. Any substance that is composed of just one type of particle is called a pure substance. Those particles can be atoms, molecules, or ionic solids. Particles can include one type of atom or be composed of different atoms or ions. Since a pure substance can be a compound, it can contain different types of atoms. But those atoms are chemically combined together in fixed proportions. They are not alone. Examples of pure substances an atom, molecule, or an ionic solid. Single molecules and ionic solids may include different types of atoms. A pure substance, a pure substance may be made of different atoms or ions, as long as they are bound together as molecules or an ionic solid. Mixtures of different particles are not pure substances. That's important right there. Elements. Elements are pure substances made from only one type of an atom. Gold, carbon, silver, neon gas. Those are all pure substances. Uh, elements are all pure substances. You can see here the atoms that combine a nugget of gold. Okay, pure, and this is what it would look like if you, you know, uh, enlarged it. Uh, which one is an element? Air, bronze, neon gas, or water? Let me get back on my pointer. And that one, of course, is C, neon gas. Molecules are made up of atoms of the same element, atoms of different elements, atoms of the same or different elements. That one it would be C, either way. Two oxygen atoms join together to form a substance, which is a compound, a molecule, neither a molecule nor a compound, a molecule and a compound. 
and that one would be B. It is a molecule. Two oxygen atoms joining together. Physical, chemical, forms a molecule, or B and C, and that one is D. It is B and C. It is a chemical change, and it also forms a molecule. Salt and pepper mixed together. Physical change, chemical, forms a mixture, A and C. Hopefully you chose D on that one. It is a physical change and it also forms a mixture because you could separate those out. Which of these is a pure substance? A gold bar, salad dressing, ice cream, or air? Uh, of course, remember the picture of the gold bar uh, because that is the element gold. Which is a compound? Gold, copper, silver, or salt? Hopefully you remember that salt is a combination of NaCl. Which is a compound? Water, copper, silver, or oxygen? Of course that one is water because remember H2O. Which of these is a mixture? Gold, oxygen, helium, and air. Only one of those, which is air, is a mix of different things. These are pure substances that are elements by themselves. Sodium and chlorine atom combine to form a substance, which is a mixture, a compound, A or B, or neither a mixture or a compound. Of course, that one is B. It is a compound, NaCl. Which of the following is a pure substance? Orange juice, log, dirt, silver. Hopefully you remember the only one of those that's listed on the periodic table is D, silver. And that finishes our slides as well as our unit on um, chemical bonds. There will be an assignment tomorrow. Make sure you finish up um, ions and ionic bonds for yesterday. If you need help, please send me an email or feel free to call the school. Thanks and have a great day.